All right. Okay. All right. Square Enix, you know I love you, but there is honestly no excuse at this point. What is up you guys, HMK once again, and uh, if you've been living under a rock somehow, some way, we got some really cool developments when it comes to Square Enix games coming to the Nintendo Switch and coming to other platforms, which really begs the question about, you know, the Kingdom Hearts cloud ports on Nintendo Switch, and if we can get a native port of Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3, all that good jazz. And I feel at this point, you know, I believe that we can. I want to be give you know Square Enix the benefit of the doubt, the uh, Disney the benefit of the doubt. It's like okay, you know they put out the cloud ports, you know that's one and done, and it's never gonna, you know we're never gonna get native ports. And I was like, okay, I resigned to that fate. Whatever, I can play Kingdom Hearts on my PlayStation, but I would really like to play Kingdom Hearts on the go. Now, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos when it comes to Kingdom Hearts on cloud on Nintendo Switch, you should definitely give it a shot. But to give you a little bit of a preface, um, what is cloud gaming? Cloud gaming is when you play a game off your console using the web or the cloud as the game is stored on a cloud server far away from your console, right? And you're able to play it if you have a really good internet connection, something that a lot of people don't have. And if you're gonna do that on Nintendo Switch, that means you have to have a stable internet connection, Wi-Fi, some good ass Wi-Fi when you wanna play on the go. And if you don't, you can't. Anyways, the long and short story about that is that there are way too many variables to make it a feasible option for everybody, thereby it sucks, right? So, Nintendo had this mini party direct not too long ago, literally days ago, in which they revealed near Automata for the Nintendo Switch, native, yes, and I've confirmed it time and time again with Square Enix, it is native, physical, digital, running at 1080p, 720p when undocked, 30 frames per second lock, which is fine because I know for the Nintendo Switch, it ain't as powerful as the big boys and you have to make some commodities, all right? So I'm good with that. And you get Nintendo Switch exclusive content on Nier Automata. I haven't played the game yet, so I'm gonna give it, uh, give it a try for the first time ever. So don't crucify me that I haven't played the game yet. A lot of people say, oh, this game is made for you. You know, I've seen my fiance play it, so now it's my turn on Nintendo Switch, all right? So after that got announced, don't get me wrong, I'm super happy for the Nier people, but that really begs the question on what's going on with Kingdom Hearts on Nintendo Switch at this point when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, and yes, Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, another point that I want to make into this conversation when it comes to Square Enix's apparent willfulness, willingness in order to put games on multiple platforms in multiple ways that helps the argument that maybe, just maybe, Square Enix can indeed put out a native port for Kingdom Hearts. All of it is Final Fantasy VII Remake. This game is coming to Steam, or it came to Steam, and it was originally only on PC through the Epic Game Store. I honestly thought, okay, the game's on PC. I thought Square is gonna be like, all right, one and done. If you don't like Epic Games, tough. But it's coming out to Steam. So that told me, I'm like, hey, okay, you're willing to put different versions out of the game. Well, not really different versions, but like, you know, through different means of acquisition on the PC. Epic Game Store or Steam, what have you, go for it. Right? So I'm like, okay, Square Enix is willing to do that. We already have the cloud versions of Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, and 3. Melody and Memory is native, obviously. So why can't you make those games native? And then after seeing Near Automata, a PlayStation 4 game that is 50 gigabytes and apparently has been down to almost 10 gigabytes in compression, then Kingdom Hearts 3 can definitely, I believe, 100% can be redeveloped or re-edited or recompressed down to the Nintendo Switch, of course, with commendations. If Kingdom Hearts 3 end up looking like Missing Link on the Switch, I'll be good for it. I'll be good with it, and I would love it. Of course, it will take time, it will take energy, it will take money, but I'm sure Disney and Square is going to be aware that Kingdom Hearts fans are ravenous in terms of buying stuff, all right? So the money is definitely there. And there is absolutely no excuse for 1.5, 2.5, and facets of 2.8 running on the Nintendo Switch natively after you're able to work the magic of Nier Automata on the Switch and indeed Dragon Quest XI-S. And a lot of people like to use the argument for Persona 5 Royal, which is fair, but I mean, it's Atlas, so you can't really use that to compare it too much. But Persona 5 Royal is going to be on cart, it's going to be digital, 
for the Nintendo Switch, which is going to be really, really interesting. But at the same time, it runs off the Ca uh, Catherine engine, which is like the P1 engine. I forgot what it is. But it runs on the same engine as Catherine, and Catherine runs just fine on the Nintendo Switch. So why is there an issue? Now, the issue that I feel that could be happening when it comes to Kingdom Hearts natively coming to the Switch or not is that Disney is the issue. This is not the issue in telling them not to do it. I feel Disney is the issue in not giving them enough funding, right? The budget was probably only there in order to accommodate the cloud ports. And at the same time, the timing, the scheduling really forced Square Enix's hand, I feel, because this is the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary we're talking about. And they found out with the amount of funding that Kingdom Hearts 3 would not be able to come out on Switch natively in time, or, you know, they didn't have enough money to develop or redevelop the game in-house on time to come out of the Nintendo Switch so they made the executive decision, let's make it on cloud. And in order to make all the games come out at the same time, okay, Kim Master on cloud, the rest of them on cloud, it'll be fine, 20th anniversary, let's go, let's get it, everyone's hype, sword and smash, let's do this, right? But at the same time, I feel like this is something I'm really, really grateful for Square Enix and Disney for doing. Like, I'm really glad that it was Kingdom Hearts, like part of me, that really opened up the masses of gamers' eyes on the Nintendo Switch, listening, saying, hey, we don't want cloud, no cloud, stop it. We don't want no cloud version, cloud version sucks. We don't want this stuff. So Nier Automata was able to run because Kingdom Hearts Cloud was able to, I'm not even gonna say walk, I'm not even gonna say crawl, it was just there, all right? So that is like the big case in point and after seeing Nier Automata and then people making the jokes that Nier Automata is gonna be running at like super pixelated one frame per second, all that stuff, when they already confirmed and already shown off gameplay of Nier Automata running on the Switch on, uh, on dock, which is 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is fine. If Kingdom Hearts 3 were to come natively to the Nintendo Switch, run 1080p, 30 frames per second, that's fine. Now, I'll, I'll take those commodities. I grew up playing Kingdom Hearts at 30 frames per second. Only recently, I was like, damn, 60 FPS looks really good on my boy Sora. But if this is going to be the way for me to play Kingdom Hearts 3 on the go, I'm super down for it. But I feel there is no reason that Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, all that good jazz cannot run 60 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch. It probably can, it probably will, just do it. And I feel that whatever double model time that Square Enix needs, that I, I feel like Kingdom Hearts fans will be good waiting and knowing that they're willing to give it a shot. And I know that, that part of them wants to give it a shot because despite everyone saying like, yo, the cloud version, mm -mm -mm, not good, not spicy, not good, not tasty, right? Square Enix really did go out of their way to try and make that version better with multiple releases of updates in order to try and make 1.5, 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 3, all that good jazz run better on the Switch, on the cloud. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the sentiment, but this ain't the way to go. This money, this effort, this energy could have gone into native ports. And I hope that Square Enix fans lets Disney and Square Enix know that Kingdom Hearts definitely deserves better on the Nintendo Switch, especially after seeing Dragon Quest Niratama and all that good jazz. Let's get this. So that's my spiel. I believe that Kingdom Hearts should deserve better, can deserve better, will deserve better. Put it on the Switch natively. If you could do it for Niratama, if you could do it for Dragon Quest uh, 11, do it. Whatever time it takes, I'll wait. So. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for all the good jazz when it comes to Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff with Square Enix, Disney, Nintendo Switch, all of it. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Sub, like, Patreon, grab a shirt. Uh, until the next one, I will check you guys later. <sighs> so you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.